strike joining clinical officers and nurses who have been on strike for two weeks now. The Kenya Medical Practitioners, Pharmacists and Dentist Union says doctors will not resume work until their grievances are addressed. Lynette Gidua begins our broadcast tonight. The doctors have joined nurses and clinical officers in the strike that has crippled health services across the country. Announcing the commencement of the strike in Kisi before attending the burial of Stephen Mugusu, who succumbed to COVID-19 in the line of duty, KMPDU said the move was informed by the failure of the government to meet the demands 35 days after issuing the first notice. Doctors across this country today have decided they will not endanger their lives. And I'm saying this because I said it before. <coughs> it is no to a suicide mission. Sisi kazini aturudi, waendele kutoa vitisho, aturudi. Na hile kauli ambayo wameitumia kwamba serikali meza kutoa maagizo turudi, ama koti, hakuna maagizo yoyote. Hakuna mashariti yoyote ya metoleo na koti kuturudisha kazini. However, even as a downcast medical health workers took to further express their frustrations, governors have termed the strikes as illegal. The strike has been declared illegal. So if you, you have a brother, sister, friend who will continue being on strike, obviously we shall remove them from the payroll. I've directed that... Uh, we, we cut out recruitment. The government has already taken a harsh tone regarding this matter. Kandara member of parliament Alice Wahome has condemned health CS Mutahi Kagwe's earlier statement threatening to sack medical workers who are participating in the strike. Ni vizuri tukatae hiyo maneno na tuambie Mutahi Kagwe arete arete pendekezo ya pesa ambaye itamsaidia kutatua hiyo shida. Aondoe hii, hii pesa ya BBI iende huko. Hii ya referendum pesa iende huko. The Parliamentary Health Committee has been unsuccessfully holding talks to find a solution appropriate to the strike. Labda hata kama tuko recess tuitane kikao ili tujiulize tumefika wapi lakini ngeoma madaktari hasa wao na sobra kwa sababu naona kuna ile willingness ya watu kusikizana. This as patients in public hospitals continue to suffer the brunt of the ongoing strike. Lynette Kidua, TV47.